Hi folks, Paul Grun here. In this video, I'll cover the sixth of eight essential steps in conflict resolution, at least according to Dudley Weeks in his book. Step six is to generate options. Each side should generate options before talking with their conflict partner. Spend time thinking of new possibilities, things perhaps that were unexplored in the past. So come prepared with options that meet shared needs and require shared power to implement. I've talked about both shared needs and shared power in earlier videos. But keep in mind that these ideas at this point are really just the starting point in generating options together because there might be some options that you both agree on some options that might be altered and some options that sorry to say just need to be dropped but that's okay and a few side notes in terms of generating options it's it's easy to shut your mind when you hear something you really don't like something that really pushes one of your buttons but try try and keep an open mind. There might be something worthwhile hidden inside what may seem initially to be an incompatible option. And in the rare instance that you can't come up with any options, step back and clarify what the disagreement's really about. And since there might be more than one area of conflict, See what options you can come up with to address those other areas. Now, this doesn't mean that you're avoiding the conflict. It just means you hit an impasse on one particular part of it. And try not to lead with what you suspect the other side may view as unacceptable. I mean, we are trying to be positive here and use positive power. So... Again, both sides need to come up with options. Ask the other side what their options are. And this is even more important if the other side feels disempowered. So concentrate on what might be shared needs and commonalities. Brainstorm. You know, just consider new ideas and write them down. Don't evaluate them. Just do a brain dump at, the, at this point. And then look at the finished list for any common threads, because perhaps you can make a new list based on those mutual concerns and needs. Then imagine possible outcomes if those common options were being met. The most plausible options should meet the following five criteria. They should, one, meet one or more shared needs. Two, they should meet one or more individual needs that are not incompatible with the other party's needs. Three, they should require mutual positive power to be implemented. Four, they should have the potential to improve the relationship. And finally, five, they can be accepted by all parties, hopefully enthusiastically so. And a final thought, don't rule out any options based on past experience. And after all, hopefully the skills that I've covered in this video series and obviously what's in the rest of the book may make these options possible now. So that was step six of eight, generate options. Two more steps to go. We'll have that in future videos. Please comment below if you've got any comments or thoughts to add. And please visit my YouTube channel. You'll find these on my playlist on life. So that's all for now. See you next time.